All right, guys, Chef Craig here again, and this is how to cook like a Bajan. All right, welcome back. I do believe you watched us last week. Today we're doing a light great cake. You can see some things you ain't accustomed to, but bear with me. It's good to mix it up, and I am not one from small to be the greatest fan of your traditional great cake. I always like, like to light a cake, so I made that switcheroo. So, let me continue. Get our ingredients in. You ain't gonna waste much time. Are you like my blender? Well, not mine, but this is how to cut like a Bajan blender. And this is from Blades and Williams, bottom of three side rod, prunes. And let me know if y'all like a lot of rum. When I am pouring in the rum, nod your head when you want me to stop. Raisins. I think that's enough. Never, ever put a utensil in the blender when it's on, okay? Furthermore, I finished putting things in there like that. I'm gonna move this, press that there, and I can get the rum in. Right, so nod, and y'all think that I put in enough. I look in the corner of my eye. I can't see. I can see now, I can see now. We can see what's going on here now. Right, let me get the cover, watch me good. Where this come from again? Blades of Williams. Tweet side road. On. You see this fella. It's called uh, kitchen music. Let me take a peek. It smells that rum, boy. So watch me good how I can check the consistency. You see what I did? Took it off of the blender from Blades and Williams. Right? Got some good texture. We done. We done. So no more time to waste. And at this time, if you want to plug out your blender. Can't make no more mistakes. All right? We can get everybody in. So you can see down. I know you can't smell the rum, but are you smelling the rum though? For sure. Simple, rustic kit. Oh, that looking good. That is looking good. All right, so butter in. Allow it to melt. It's so funny. Cause when we were gathering the ingredients for this, my buddy Chef Nick, butter, <laughs> eggs? I said yes, it's not traditional. It is not. Stay there, Vitamix Blender from Jason Williams. And to coat our pan, some nice palm spray, spray, high yield, all right, a little more. I can put you by here for a minute too, but we need space to work. And then, get your eggs, you just whisk them up. There's only one thing I'm missing. If I can get some boy toss it in for me. If I can get Chef Nick to look at me, I can tell you what I need. Toss me the um, vanilla essence. Sir, you can just toss it in the bottle. I promise I can catch it. If I don't, Nick tells it back. It's kind of a similar process to coming up from a muffin. And then this could work. How easy that was. One country kitchen plan and sneaking into the party too. But we need it. We need it. What's missing now? We got in the fruit, we got in the egg. We can add everything and then we can add the butter. Ginger, 
a little extra ginger this time just to come back with the fruit and the sweetness and everything cinnamon a little tip of nutmeg correct all right and then a little bit of salt not too much brown sugar not too much because the fruit's sweet maybe she can be good there but I can still taste it before I continue we missing now got all brown in you see what this is Caribbean dreams keep you dreaming about good products that's good we don't need it too dark just a little bit just a little bit all right Hit it with the butter now. I can bar the spatula. Because he come from Blazon Williams, he trying to stay in the, ble the blender from Blazon Williams. Come and do some more work, do You want to stand back there and chill out? Not today. Good. Now, bring this together. A little bit of carob oil. And I always say, you could put in but you can't take out so we can see where we're going from here a little bit of baking powder that should be good just a little bit just a little bit more all right just go get a little more flour because you could always tell so it's going to get creamier it's going to get a little bit lighter in color. See, it's still wet. We can add some more because it's going to look like a cake batter. Because it is a cake batter. <laughs> it is not traditional cake. And it's a batter that you can do in muffins. You can do it in cupcakes, anything like that. So we're coming together there now. Almost there. But don't, don't forget all the recipes are coming right but me I know my style always doing it almost there I'll be there if you think I wrong watch me and see that see we coming together As grand grand would say, or as mama would say, there's no one that right. Muscle memory, kitchen memory, everything. And for me, I like to get a little taste. So you know my texture right. See that? Looking like cake. We can see the rum might hit me, but I like the rum. It's strong. But it's good. Where part is from? It's from Blazing Williams too. They treat me good. So we're going in. You can't see from this, you can't tell me when to stop. this into the oven while it's baking I can make the sauce and then we can finish this up and then on to the main course keep you and your family safe with Sol gas here are some helpful tips to keep you and your family safe when cooking with Sol gas 
never tamper with the cylinder and only use the SOL approved regulator and a hose designed for use with LPG. Securely connect the regulator to the cylinder valve until it clicks into place and is properly fastened and secured. It is important to check the hose clips and the rubber hose to ensure they are in good working condition and properly secured. It is important to check your hose and regulator and change them as needed. Change your rubber hose every two years. Change your regulator every five years. If there are signs of damage to your regulator, contact an approved SOL gas distributor or a SOL service station for replacement immediately. Safety first with SOL gas. I bought the fruit cake in the oven. I just turn on sweet heat, SOL gas, and blue flames. All right? So we can get the sauce going. I got one of my guys here, playing and school the tonic. I had it hiding. You can see it open already. I ain't gonna tell you what he was doing it before. So we can put it in, allow it to start reducing. Then we can add the berries and the bay leaf. We kept some of the dripping from the berries from before. These same ones, cause we had it separate. So, we can add it in. Shh, keep quiet. Shh, right. Add them in. This is a quick, easy sauce. Just to go with it. Drippings. Allow this to boil. I mentioned the bay leaf, so bay leaf in there too. You can notice by now that I love bay leaf. It gives you that nice little, um, we will call it infusion, a natural infusion that I love with sweet stuff and with stews. So we got that in. We can hit it with a little bit of sugar. But by a little meat all. Get that in. Just wait for that to boil. And then we can hit the thickener, a lot to reduce. And that can be it for the sauce, no light. And then we can go on the biscuit stuffing. But before that, there's one other ingredient that I need. That is the country kitchen vanilla essence. Then we have somebody out. All but the players walking about. And then talking about people in she kitchen. But look, she back in people kitchen. And then she slamming down things. Thank you very much, yeah? I hope I know y'all realize that every <laughs> time I turn my back, even for seconds, these chefs in my kitchen, touching my stuff, sweetening up my crew, wiggling up everyone's lascivious. Ugh. All right, I got low heat on. You done? You I done get, now? I got low, I got low. This one. I want to know if you done. You done? Continue, continue. No, don't go long yet because, right? You can't go to the kitchen this week. Compliments Blazing Williams. <laughs> Compliments Abed. All these other brands and they want to share. Don't work so. <laughs> How to cook like a Bajan. There's a lot of Bajans cooking like Bajans, so she got sheer. You understand? It's as simple as that. One, three, eh? One? Third time? <laughs> I, I got she. Oh. I got she. Love y'all. We can see sauce she when she come back again. Make the sauce fast. <laughs> All right. Time to thicken up the sauce, strain it out, and then to get the great cake out of the oven. But while we're doing that, and while we're waiting on those things, we're going to start our biscuit stuffing with a nice anchor cheddar cheese sauce. Sound different, right? Because it is. And that's what we do right here on how to cook like a bacon. Here's the corn flour, totally organic. See the color already? Good. I can stop talking for a little bit and just let the whisk sink. Oh, I'm barely trying to run a glum. Not today. So, bubble up, strain, and when that finish, while we're waiting on the light grey cake, we can get set up and ready for our biscuit stuffing with the nice cheese sauce. And just see it so we can strain off and then move on. All right. They're hot. Last time I tried to mash it, this nice thing that I bet you gave you, but not this time. I'm paying attention now, though. And I can make, you know what, don't let me pour it yet. Look at that, there, look. Look at that. Let me get a little stir. Let's see what I tell you. Embark, Clayton's, Mindful Market. 
there's good stuff all the time. That's what we're talking about. Make sure it don't dirty in the way. See that there's got people that's popping them on. Chastise you for the things. Wonder who them is. Mm-hmm. Get this sauce out of here here. And get ready to make some good old stuff in. So I can finish doing this. And I can see when I'm in the stuff in time. I go off for now. At Mindful Market, we recognize that everyone's health journey is unique and embraces all facets of life. Food, supplements, beauty, and household. With all this in mind, we carefully curate our products based on ingredient quality, sustainability, and fair trade practices to bring you only the best from international and local sources. Delicious and nutritious, mindful meals are available from our grab-and-go area and from the cafe. Made fresh daily by our kitchen to suit your diet, whether you're vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, keto, or just want some clean, wholesome food. Mindful Market. Nourish your body and soul. All right. Great cake soon done. And it's time for stuffing. So simple, I use in a nice brand of oat biscuits. Some people can know this brand. And then I use in a good multigrain. You can break them up. I hear that somebody want me to move this cross, but eventually, and again, I can tell you where everything is, and then they can come back over here. All right, so we break them up. We can add some water. Not good enough for now. Add some water. That should be good. We don't need too much. Not looking good. We ain't got that much to do, you know. Once we get everybody put together and get it in the pot, we can cook it majority way, the stuff in, in the pot, and then we can do our cheese sauce and play it out. So let me get going. Butter in. All the butter. But we don't need butter in here and then butter in the cheese sauce. We want flavor in the cheese sauce. We got something else to lighten up the cheese sauce. So, butter, onion, I slow it down. I want to make sure you all see. Garlic, thyme and marjoram, some of the parsley and cilantro. Hit some curry and cumin. Good. And that smell is sweet already, man. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Don't worry, I can bring it over there and let y'all see how it look. Let me get to the cheese sauce. Simple cheese sauce. Anchor heavy cream. Anchor New Zealand cheddar cheese. White wine from grapevine. White wine from grapevine. I like how that sound. And then just some salt and pepper spices and finish off with some herbs. Simple because the stuffing ain't got a lot of strong flavors already. This is good at this point. So, actually, let me turn back on. Cause when I put this over here to cool, we can let this all start. It's as simple as that. So, let me reverse this pour now. The opposite way. Good. And if any left back, don't worry, we're getting back in the pot. Back into the pot. Wine first. As I always say, if you can drink the wine, cook with it. If you can't, left it out. Left it out. So, let's stay there. Everybody come together. All right, all right. So in between, I can let myself enjoy a nice glass of Sauvignon from Grapevine. I'm going to tell you how it tastes. I can have a sip. This is just for me while I'm waiting on this and waiting on that. Compliments who? Grapevine. Get ready to set. Take your time here. In the rushing. 
It's not like food know that when any kitchen is the boss. If you don't do it my way, you can run yourself in trouble, food. Mustard. From Swiss. And if you didn't know, mustard and cheese, it's brother and sister here, it's good, good together all the time. A little bit of salt. You don't want too much yet, black pepper. I always try and try this in my own nose. <coughs> and here, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Spices. I let her do a thing for now. Put my spoon gone. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. So it's similar to Cajun cream sauce, but not really. Not really. Almost there. So we can let her reduce, let the wine get a little sweeter, and then we can add the cheese and finish off. And you know me, I like to feel the food. That's what you like. See that? This can eat now, you know. This can eat now. So we can get some more texture. That's what we can do. So I always go do this to myself and make myself a left hander, you know. But if you don't try saying different, you ain't testing yourself. You get in though. Good seasoning. You put salt already? Are you waiting for you to tell me? <laughs> Good answer, because we ain't putting the salt yet. But we can test it first, because we put in stuff that going salt. So we can get a little taste. One second. One second. As I say, if you're dirty up, you go all clean. Got somebody and be quite upset with me if I don't keep the place in order. Add cheese. Good. That look good. Moment of silence for good food, huh? I know somewhat like enough cheese, but I can't call the name. Know what I mean? Not oh, good. I turn it off. We can get a taste of the stuffing. See what's going on. So we can hit it with some spices. in the pot, start to cook this, and then when it finish, we can play it up, so it can take a little time to continue and then it can come back to y'all. So we back, we finishing up. I know what I'm wondering, why they stuffing inside the pot? You wanna know why? Because there are two chefs that I used to work with. They're not around anymore, rest in peace. Mr. Welch and Jeffrey Adley, they always told me the oven is full. You can either finish it off, finish it off in a pot or you can steam it also in a pot with a cover and that kind of stuff. But I like to leave it open and allow, to get, allow that caramelization to happen and then the nice tightness to come together of the stuffing. Right, so we just about ready. And you know what time it is, right? When you're ready, time to play it up, time to eat up, and then we can get the dessert too. So while that finishing up, let me grab the dessert, the light fruit cake. We 
see how it is sitting down. I know it ain't as dark as normal, but it dark enough, it light enough, it got enough rum, and it's sweet enough. So, let me ease these rum just a little bit. Right there. Good. We can come back to you. Time to play it up. Stuff in. Oh, Hannah, you ain't tricking me. You ain't tricking me because as I keep telling one of them, so gas, blue flames, just keep everything hot and nice in the right way. So, nice and easy, shape it, you're going for a nice, rustic, central presentation. Do you want to get trouble now? You might want to give me trouble, you know, but uh-uh. Hey, ready for you, right there in the center. I don't know but one alright. But that look good. Yeah that they all steamy man. Play it now? Alright. Cheese sauce man. I know some boy but he's smiling and ready for cheese here. Me too. Now listen. I know. Wash me good, man. That's what we want. Top of flavor. Anchor heavy cream. Anchor cheddar cheese. Spices, pepper sauce, mustard, great wine, white wine. Now we're talking about. You ain't even gonna see much of that stuff. And you don't know what it look like. We want pretty. We want flavorful. When it's done, but when it's done, you can eat. You want enough garnish too? I can clean up there, don't worry. Right on top. We have your soft garnishes. We got a little sweet, good there. You good there? I look good. All right. Let's play it here on now. We can rest this over here now. It's cool enough. Are we playing this? We did in a straight line, or we can cut some squares. Line, squares. Not your head. Which one? Line, squares. <laughs> Always making things hard here. You sure? The line is look good and all. Oh, we go a circle there. We can figure it out then. Corner or inside? <laughs> That's notable. We ain't played it nothing then. Corner. Let me tell you here, these people here, all right, all right. You sure you can't get in the lane? They're already in the lane. <laughs> We're going for squares, you know? These people know that I can cut the straight top of in a lane. The lowly corner, look, look. You met one a happy man. You can met one a happy, all right? Oh, I want to cover man. I got one to cover. Can't be a chef real kitchen doing foolishness. So I keep it jiggy. But I get tired joke though. Mm -hmm. Chef real kitchen. Here we kitchen here. So she better understand that there. I got one more piece here. But this piece here is to see how the rum hitting. Taste it? right hand, don't keep quiet, but we ain't care. We got your left hand to hold it. You know, like I can stop right there, though, man, stopping. I ain't stopping. That's one for me, one for Nick. Put yourself first here, don't laugh for yourself. That's Rosie. <laughs> Subway left. I don't know who that body is. I wonder. All right. I think I remember the name. Bad behave, Chef Rhea. I got she here. And that one for the photography team. A little extra. For the whole manager, everything. Easy like that. Wait, wait, wait. He's trying to 
trying to make the main course sweet. Not on my watch. That was extra. But I ain't complaining. So, like fruit cake, a good fruit sauce using Clayton's, using berries, a little bit of brown sugar, and then a good old biscuit stuffing with a wonderful anchor cheese, anchor heavy cream cheese sauce. And as I said, this is How to Cut Like a Bajan. I'm Chef Craig, and I'm gone for now. Later.